Intellectual pack. Assemble. It is time for Life is Strange Before the Storm. AKA the Life is Strange prequel. <coughs> and um, to do a little bit of maintenance or when this goes up on YouTube I'm obliged and privileged to welcome each and every single one of my new subscribers to the channel and to the family welcome to the intellectual pack So yeah, um, there's no audio right now because, well, we have the, um, music muted, so that, you know, mutes this too. to tell you all of it but are you sure that Chloe should be here for Chloe stays of course in every way that matters Rose is my wife and your mother but the woman you saw at the overlook her name is Sarah your birth mother I'm going to tell you everything Rachel everything I've shielded you from for so long but the truth can be hard to look at is this really something you're ready for Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her 
friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything, and it did, for a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love. I was still blind. She loved you then. It wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. Never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. You saw at the Overlook, Rachel. It was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. So 
So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's all our arrangement. But now, she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Hard to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sarah. But does that make what James did right? Rachel only knew half the truth when she set that fire. What if she'd known everything? I hope tonight hasn't messed up Rachel's memories of family trips like this. The Tempest show feels so far away now. This is so painful to look at. Whoa. Sarah Gearhart is a known associate of that psycho who attacked Drew. Then again, so is Frank. This seems like a James and Rose bookshelf. I can't imagine Sarah here instead. guys yeah I forgot one thing uh, Rachel some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her.
We were so close to making our break last night. Now the yin and badass yang of Rachel Amber. May you always be safe. Sure. Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Rachel's always made being an A student seem so easy. Almost, I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? <coughs> That's the one. she'll have something from tonight. Mm. Even you, Lily, really, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. <coughs> I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. On stage, I think Rachel said... <laughs> I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes but it still seems hard to believe. Yeah. <laughs> this light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. Already for Rachel's light show. It makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Rachel's surrounded by so much love. Yet she seems so uh, alone. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained.
Hey. Check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? You remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. Then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. Not sure if anybody's still here, They're but all if there is, welcome to the channel. Lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful. Right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? <laughs> it's all lies. Everything. <laughs> My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman, my real mom, she's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. <coughs> even when I didn't know. That my real mother was gone. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here for me, I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Of course not. But it might be tough to track her down. Yeah, that's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. No idea where to start. Let me handle it. Really? Really. <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. It's just like I told that biker dude at the mill, who was a lot scarier than this mom of yours could ever be. There could be flamethrowers, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash between you and her. And I would still find a way to get you there. 
Chloe fucking Price. My magical Shakespeare fairy. Shut up. <laughs> but once we find her, how do I talk to her? What do I say? <sighs> After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak, in my dreams, he's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real to us, right? Right. Stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touché. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, Stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. R Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said.
something about the whole world being a stage. So might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Wait, what the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait, David? That motherfucker. Whatever, I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? Jeez, would you relax? I have it with me, okay? I'm coming to get it right now. I have a favor to ask you. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman who was in your RV yesterday. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? Yeah. I'm in the junkyard in two hours. And bring the fucking money. Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. That went well. Rude. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, well, as it could go, what am anyway. I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be...
Uh, better than nothing. Mm. <coughs> Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's <coughs> literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Still can't fucking believe that David went through my stuff. Figures. Um, what? Nice to see my work is appreciated. Rachel really is good at everything she does. How art an idiot. <laughs> Whoa. Skips in a band? Is mom playing music? Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay. No awesome pirate towel. Hmm. Gross. I really hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Lots of washcloths. No towel. <sighs> Score. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't... I need new clothes.
What do I feel like wearing on this crazy ass day? to get dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Wait a second. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I have Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? Flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hmm. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you, was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home. Was a smart decision. Hmm. I'm. I'm not staying long. Just <laughs> picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you coming home tonight, Mom? I, I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Don't worry about me, okay? I... I can take care of myself. Will, will you at least tell me where you're staying? I really uh. gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> Really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So, 
If you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. The idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. What? You didn't know? Detective Dickwad here went through all of my drawers and my bed. It's what you asked me to do. Make sure she's got no drugs or alcohol for her own make... good. Oh, my goodness, Chloe. I'm sorry. I thought that... I'm sorry, Joyce. I didn't know this would it's upset Chloe you. It's Chloe who deserves the apology. Well, Chloe, I'm sorry that I violated your privacy. I did it with your best interest in mind. That's it? That's your apology? Well, now, I thought that- What about sorry for not trusting me in the first place? And convincing my mom to mistrust me too? That's not David's fault. What about sorry for calling me a loser? And always talking to me like I just came out of juvie? What about sorry for lecturing me all the time when you're fucking no one? You're not my dad. Who the hell gave you that right? What about sorry for moving in with my mom against my wishes? Chloe. Chloe, I know you don't like me. I know you think I don't understand you, but I do. I've been meaning to show you something. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were gonna get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this girl guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. <laughs> what the hell? Just gotta go. 
grab dad's toolbox and <coughs> get out of here quick. <laughs> What's the matter, David? Don't want any more decorations inside your toolbox? Here we go. Almost forgot to mention, guys. Tomorrow, um, will be another episode of. Uh, well, of um, Gex and the Gecko, and uh, come on. With me here. And uh, re uh, Kingdom Hearts, Rechain of Memories. <coughs> we are really inching closer to the end Damn of that it. Kingdom Hearts game. Better. But still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. <coughs> Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. This thing is going to the fuck up. Maybe. Sick. Well. Nice. Hmm, what do I see? <laughs> I know. How can I tighten it? Mm. <sighs> Much better. Hmm. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Screwdriver.
That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Go back from whence you came. <sighs> This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Pliers. Deadly electric glove. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Mm. Hey, holy shit, your hair, it's so <laughs> badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot, but yeah, badass too. <laughs> hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Heck yeah. Hmm. Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? <sighs> it's right here. Obviously, I was gonna give it to you. You don't have to be such a dick about it. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't 
fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now. Why you give a shit about this woman? I, she's a friend. An old family friend. <laughs> this chick doesn't have any family. Or any friends. Look, huh. none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit. We were aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, you fucking bitch! Rachel! Damn it! You! What the fuck? Chloe! Go! Now! No! Hold on! Shit! Shit! Shit. Hey! Hold on, okay? Rachel? No, no, no! No, I'm not losing you! gonna happen. I 
played this before. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She had a surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I don't. I don't know. Everything happened so fast. That guy you have a file on. Demon Merrick. <coughs> Why does he hate you so much? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, yep. that's right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I, I think he wanted to scare us, so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that... How it became violent. When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? I, I don't know. Maybe he's seen her before. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream, but I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have, um... Thank you, Chloe. 
You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. All right. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Come on. Not that I have any coins anyway. Oh man. Jackpot. So many of these home when dad died, and not a single one described how I felt. <coughs> Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh. That's weird. Those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. You think? <sighs> if you're this useless now, what are you gonna do at 3 a.m. when the oh, baby needs? There's a sign for the prenatal class. Right. I guess that's your contribution for today. <sighs> Those people suck. Frank's business must be booming. Shit. I really hope he's okay. One more hour of waiting, and I would have read that. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Is this for real? I wonder if Damon Merrick classifies as a biohazard. He's definitely human waste. <laughs> Guess the citizens of Arcadia Bay aren't feeling so generous. Is this Drew's room? All right. 
right then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. You know, Drew's hurt, of course. But, uh, I'm between jobs, so got plenty of time to visit. You know? Yeah. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Uh, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I, I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Uh, no. Sorry. This weekend was actually the first time I really hung out with them. That's all right. Mm. I appreciate that you've been keeping my boys company. Drew's got so many hopes for himself riding on their knee. It seems like he's been even more driven lately. I think my work situation's disappointed him. Both of them. Actually, in different ways. Uh, sorry I'm laying all this on you. I've been trying to keep it light in there. That's okay. Uh, nice of you to listen. Do me a favor. Don't worry either of them with... Oh, excuse me. If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. Hey. What's there to do around here? Those guys look exhausted. No, it's completely out. Unless you get stabbed. I'm so glad Rachel's okay. Really can't wait to see her. Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. <clears throat> Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. You didn't have to bring me ice cream. Is that... Samantha Myers? I feel bad. Holy shit. Is that Nathan Prescott? It wasn't your fault. I'm a klutz. Oh, God. Nathan and Samantha? Together? What have I done? I should have seen that biker, though. <laughs> I just... <sighs> if 
I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? Hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. <laughs> so, <laughs> what have you been doing all day? Um, <laughs> not much. <laughs> Homework. Hanging out with my dad. Dealing with the dumb jokes about the plate in my leg. Sorry to hear it. It's it's all good. Uh. Mm. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. Eh. I figured it might fit with my new barbarian look. You know, a war paint. Awesome. Nerds. <laughs> hey, any news about hey, Rachel? Hey, don't judge. Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? Yeah, I'm a total nerd, You'll too. You'll think I'm so. joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? No. Somehow we've got our own shit with him now. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Mm. Uh, I'm headed out. Hey. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Damn. An 8 out of 10. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. I wonder if Drew will ever play again. Mm. Mm. Ooh, I want to eat that. Right now. Those must be from Steph's parents. Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. Feel better. I, I mean, no pressure. <laughs> I know it's gonna take a while. You know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh. Oh, right, right. I'll, um, I'll leave you alone. Damn. Drew looks really low. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Uh, y you don't want that pudding, right? Uh, I'll take it off your hands for you. Over my dead body. Wonder if a little friendly competition will cheer Drew up. Mm. Let's see if I can convince Drew that I need the pudding more than he does. <laughs> Good thing we're in a hospital, because they'll know exactly what to do with your corpse. Oh. <laughs> you don't scare me, Chloe Price. <laughs> <laughs> Know what's scary? The shit they put in cafeteria pudding. Animal connective tissue causes cancer. 
doesn't matter. I'm going to eat this pudding and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, I get it. You eat your feelings. Whatever stops the tears, man. If you loved pudding as much as I do, you might understand. If you love something, let it go. It's the noble thing to do. No, that's something <clears throat> losers say. Takes one to know one. Huh? I heard about last year's state mm. championship. <laughs> Sports ball burn. <laughs> She's not gonna quit, is she? No. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you in. We can share it. <laughs> All right. But don't get used to it. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Why are you even in my room? Mm. So good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mission accomplished. That's funny. Hey, can I sign your cast? Go for it. Hmm. Something encouraging, but not too encouraging. Still alive. There you go. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. You're pretty scary, Chloe. In a good way. In the best way. I think the football team needs thicker helmets. Yep. Definitely too many concussions. That'll be an interesting read. Hmm. All right. All right. I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Next time, you better bring me a snack. Next time, for sure. Oh, and Chloe? Yeah? Tell Rachel mm. we're rooting for her. You bet. Heck yeah. Ugh. That you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back. <clears throat> In a little while. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My guardian angel. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Steph earlier. She says, hey. <laughs> Steph's so cute, but not as cute as you. 
top. <laughs> Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I just, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost- You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here? I mean... I'm still mad at him. For everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like... On Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. Mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But, I think I still want to meet her. I figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is... Will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number, maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. Uh, nice balloon, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's for Drew. Were you, 
Were you just in there? I'm actually here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. God, I guess I'll stop by after I see Drew. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right, of course. Mm hmm. Are you. Are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. Nothing we can't handle. Chloe. I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately. Right? So what? So... Obviously, something is going on. It's really... It's really not your business, Elliot. Okay. That's fair. <coughs> Remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Hello? Okay. Let's go in. Check the door. I need to. Huh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it's the big one. Right. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. I'm not going to be able to smash my way through this one. Hopefully there's a key around somewhere. James sure keeps lots of files on people. Okay. Sheldon. Why do 
do I feel like I've heard that name before? All right. Um. Huh. Our map in here. What do we have here? I should check the computer or some of those files laying around. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Mm. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> Best dad. <laughs> That stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. Ha! Found it. Found you. Welcome to Shadyville. to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on. I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? Um. Shit. What do I say? Hope James actually has this evidence. Sarah sent all these... This, so, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. Looks like a recent email from Rachel's mother to James. Looks like a recent email from Rachel's mother to James. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Come on. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Shit. Which of these... If I can fi figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow.
better not touch that again. James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching. I should search. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. This is that freak from the mill. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his... Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. Payment? Fuck. Okay. Hmm. Hang on. Oops. I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. There we go. Yep. Okay. That's oh, a lot shit. of money. Doing to her. 
Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay. I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey. Elliot. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Honestly, Elliot, you, you can judge me all you want, but it's pretty fucked up that you're here right now, and I don't have time for this. When? What? When will you have time? For me? You have all the time in the world for... for Rachel. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just... take a step back. No! You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop... Stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get suspended. I took the fall because I wanted to. Rachel tried to protect me. Yet somehow, it all worked out for her in the end. As usual. You don't understand. You weren't there! Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? S seriously, man. You, you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough! Look, huh? Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot. I, I promise, no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened... Dude. You, you know you sound a little stalkerish right now. Stalking is defined as repeated unwanted interactions. How long have my interactions been unwanted? Elliot. <gasps> I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. All right. Look, I'm sorry, but I really need to go. <sighs> Why did you make me do that? <coughs> Can't you just listen to me? Mm. <clears throat> Elliot.
Molly had gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me! We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. You mean here? Specifically? Like, uh, the Amber House? I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're the one who's keeping me here. At the Arcadia Bay DA James Amber's house. You're acting strange. What's going on? What? Nothing. I... What are you... Ugh, you bitch! Can't you see? I just want to help you! You're going to assault me now? That's how far you'll go to protect Rachel? This is what I'm talking about. No! You idiot! What the fuck? Better run, dickbag. Cops will be here any minute. So much destruction. All because Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I think you didn't. You didn't have to. You didn't, right? Would you love me less? Of course not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. 
You were pretty sure Mom would never fall in love with someone like David, too. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Mm. Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? I wish you told me when you could have. You don't like the perfect relationship we had? I wish you'd lived long enough for us to fuck it up. <laughs> no way. My ride, my tunes. Seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. They have the truth. Okay. Frank? Frank! Okay. All right. Well. I think he may be dead. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. Face burned down. Where the hell is Sarah? Huh? Where's the homicidal drug dealer, spooky deerhead? <coughs> Frank's couch is toast. to see the bomb made it. No more beer. No more time. I've got to keep... There we go. That helps. That will help, because at least we got, you know, a, um...
No. All right. So uh Shh. everything's going to be just fine. <laughs> just a little longer and all your troubles are going bye-bye. What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand why does your he Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. Mm. Hey, After all, Damon. No one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. Right. You can do this. <coughs> Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just... Just let her go, and I won't say- no. Really bad idea. Talking's over. Leave her alone! Shut up. Huh? What the- Fuck. You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! <laughs> No. Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson. I won't, kid. Run. Make good you like idiot. This, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with Damon? What did you do? Ho 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 ho. I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. Sarah. Okay. Sarah? Chloe Price. Where's Frank? Or, or Damon? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. Mm. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I <sighs> am so, so sorry for Rachel can never know. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. 
shooting me up with... He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. That's bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar! James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here, and you'll take that away from her. Forever. Don't you think the truth matters more? The truth? What's so great about the truth, Chloe? Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? It's true. Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? You're here now. That's what matters. What do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store and a truck ran a red light and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I, I... I don't know anything about addiction. But I know what it's like to be needed by someone. It gives you strength you never knew you had. Rachel needs you. Rachel needs her family. I... I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least... Talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and... And Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? 
You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Uh oh. The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, what? tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait! Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. Hello? Mm. Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Hang on a minute. I'll be right back, guys. Alright guys, I'm back. Um Alone? 
for a minute. So, um, okay, sweetie. I'm gonna probably do the Life is Strange we'll series, just like I did the, uh, um, hang on, I wanna make sure you guys are hearing me here. Um, hang on. Alright, so, um, how are you feeling? I'm gonna do like this a lot, stabbed. like... <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo you know, is in order. I'm gonna do oh, it yeah. where... Like, um... We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got mm. time. All the time in the world. Yeah. So, how did everything go? Hmm. So, last time, Rachel, I protected her. I've got to tell you something. This time, I'm going to do something different. But, uh, we're going to do it like we did the Walking Dead series. And, um, you know, we're going to continue this, like, Life is Strange thing exactly like we did um Walking Dead series and we're gonna do it like episode so this is like episode uh three right now. We're gonna do episode uh four with the next series and then Life is Strange will continue and when we get to Life is Strange the original series, the regular series, will continue it where it's like life is strange, you know. Uh, when we get to the life is strange original game, like the first game, it'll be the next episode, and yeah. So like that will pretty much do that, and um. Uh, so, yeah, we're pretty much going to continue it like we did the, uh, Walking Dead series. But, yeah, we're going to do it a lot like that. <laughs> so, yeah, right now there would be... You know, audio, but because of the fact that, you know, I have the music muted because of, you know, copyright claims and all that crap, um, you guys don't hear anything. So, yeah, that's why. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, so, pretty much, you know, that will be what we do. Um, so we'll pretty much be doing it the same exact way as we did with uh, Life is Strange and uh, The Walking Dead. Like, we did, you know, multiple episodes, you know, out of combining it into one series... And, um, the same way we'll do it with this series. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Much do it the same exact way. Yep.
crazy thing about this is like so before the storm you know you'll see exactly what happens with the whole thing in between now and then is you know well, you'll see exactly what goes on with that yeah silent <laughs> yeah you'll see exactly what goes on <laughs> there is one more episode with this series though of, uh, you know, there's one more episode of this game portion of the series, you know, but yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Oof. I kind of messed up my knee up there, up at camp. <laughs> Got a wound there <laughs> on my knee. That kind of sucks. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there's like a bonus of this series, like this game anyway. But yeah, get to that soon, like very soon. Next Sunday, actually. <laughs> yep. Yep. <sighs> Chloe. Rachel Amber. Yep. So yeah, this will be the next one. And uh next Sunday, that'll be episode 4. And then after that, will be episode 5, but we'll be moving on to YouTube fully with uh Life is Strange. So, I will see you guys here in a bit. Uh, for another episode on YouTube of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, as always, though, remember, stay safe, stay dangerous. Love you guys. Later.